hi guys you all are welcome to my channel my name is tessie and today we are going to be recreating this style my client requested for this particular style if you're new to the channel you're welcome if you're here to subscribe kindly do that and let's get right into the video so i'll be making use of this fabric it's called a mikado and i have just three yards but you need three and a half or four yards of fabric i also got a matching lining for it so guys let's get right into the video for it. so what you need to do is to fold your fabric into two and chalk your shoulder line then you come to your armhole bust point waist your hip and the length of your gown so i took the neckline three by three then i came down by one inch for my shoulder slope then i curved my armhole i placed my bust measurement divided by four plus two inches and my waist measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. My hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Then I curved my shape. So what I'll do next is to cut out my pattern. So I'll be using the front to cut out the back. So first we're going to be cutting out the front as you can see. After cutting out the front, I'll label my line, my bust point, my waist line and my gown length. So I'll use this pattern now to cut out the front. So I folded my fabric into two. Then I placed my pattern on my fabric this way as you can see. So what I'll be doing is cutting it out. But I added two inches at the down part because the length of the pattern was too small. So I had to add to the length because I want it a bit longer. So I'm cutting out my front pattern as you can see. At the shoulder area I'll be leaving half inch for joining allowance so for the back i folded my fabric into two then i chalked two inches all the way down for my zip allowance so after chalking two inches i went ahead to connect it into a straight line after doing that i'm going to be placing my pattern after the two inches line then i'll also be chalking two inches at the down parts to make it a bit longer so I chalk two inches as you can see what I'll be doing next is on the neckline area I'll be coming down by 1.5 for my neckline for the back so I went ahead to connect it together this way as you can see so after chalking my neckline what I'll be doing next is cutting out the pattern I went ahead to cut out the pattern as you can see. After cutting out the pattern, what I'll be doing next is working on the zipper area. In order to eliminate zipper bulge at that waistline area, I'll be coming in by one inch. So I'll come in by one inch. Then from that point, I'm just going to slant all the way up. I'll slant all the way up just as you can see then I'll also slant all the way down from that one inches line very simple so this is what it looks like so I'll go ahead now to cut out my zipper area so guys if you've watched the video to this point and you're yet to subscribe kindly do that and let's get right into the video so guys we are good to go with the front and the back so what we'll be working on is the other side of the front you know this dress has an overlapping so what you do is open up your pattern just like this after opening it up you know we have the middle line area this middle point here so from this middle point here i'll be coming in by four inches so you could come in by four or four and a half so i came in by four inches from that middle point so go ahead chalk four inches all the way up just as you can see so i'm chalking four inches and i'll chalk four inches all the way up after doing that i'm going to be connecting it into a straight line so guys for the overlapping i want mine to be straight but if you want your slanted a bit you could slant it it all depends on your preference so guys, I should have used a ruler to do this. I don't know why I'm just using my free hand, but just try and make it straight. 
so guys we're good to go so i'll go ahead now to cut out my pattern so we'll be working on this side so this will be the overlapping so now i placed it on my fabric as you can see my fabric is not on fold so what i'll do is just chalk two inches to make the length equal to the rest so i added two inches at the down part as you can see so i'm going to connect it into a straight line after doing that, I'll go ahead now to cut out my pattern. So guys, if you've not liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's get right into the video. So guys, as you can see, I'm cutting out my pattern. After cutting out my pattern, this is what we have. So now if you place the front on the front, that's the main front and the overlapping, this is what it should look like. So this is it as you can see so what i'll do is to cut out lining for each of the piece so i'll be adding lining to the front to the overlapping and also to the back piece so now you can see i've cut out my lining for the front i'm just placing it together so i'll run a stitch all the way down and i'll also be closing the down part as well so i won't be closing this neckline area because we'll be adding a total neck to it so guys for the overlapping as well i'm going to be stitching all the way down and also at the down parts for the back piece as well i'm going to place my lining and stitch all the way down i'll stitch at the down part as well so do not close the neckline area you don't need to do that so after adding my lining to them i've gone ahead to give it a good press as you can see this is what the front pattern looks like so i'm going to be adding the overlapping to the front so go ahead place it together this way after doing that i'll be pinning it down so go ahead pin it down together just as you can see so after pinning it down what i'll do is stitch on it so i'll go ahead now to stitch i'll just stitch all the way down so what i'll do next is at the back i'll close the zip allowance area for now i'm just going to close it all the way down then for the front after stitching the side this is what it looks like as you can see next thing to do is to place my buttons so for the cover buttons i took it to the market and i just gave them my fabric and they made the buttons for me it is very cheap to make so you can take it if you don't have the machine so now i'm just going to place my buttons on the dress so guys after placing my buttons i'll go ahead now to hand tack it very neatly so after untacking this is what it looks like as you can see so we are good to go so what we'll be doing next is attaching the back to the front so i'm going to place it together this way then on the shoulder area i'll be stitching with half inch after doing that i'll go ahead now to shape in my dress so, so guys for the sleeve my fabric is not enough that's why i say you need like three three and a half to four yards of fabric what i have here is three yards so now i should have cut my sleeve in a triangle just like this to make it fuller and bigger but since my fabric will not be enough i'm just going to fold it into two this way then i'll fold it into two again that's into four so i'll be cutting for the two sleeve at once so my fabric is folded into four then i'm just chalking the starting point then from that point i just curved out my armhole after covering my armhole i just checked if i was on the right track which i was then from that point i'm just going to cut out my sleeve so i'm making use of the full fabric so after cutting out my sleeve this is what i have as you can see i'm going to be notching the middle part of the sleeve then when you open it this is what it should look like so this is what mine is looking like as you can see so what i'll be doing next is pleating so i'm going to be pleating the down part of the sleeve so you have to pleat the down part of the sleeve open it up this way then you pleat it little by little to get your round wrist measurement so you have to pleat after pleating you should get the round wrist measurement plus some allowance for joining allowance 
so what i'll do is split and i'll do the same thing for this part so now for the band what i have here is six inches same thing for this part so i folded it into two which results to three inches so now after pleating my sleeve i'm just going to take my band then i'll place it this way then i'll run a stitch after running that stitch i'm going to fold this side and stitch as well i'll do the same thing for the other parts so i'm just going to place it this way i'll stitch then i'll fold this and then fold the edge as well so guys after doing all of that this is what it looks like as you can see so what i'll do is attach my sleeve to my dress so i'll go ahead now to attach the sleeve to the dress so guys you can see that my sleeve is not really that full because the fabric was not really enough so you need to get enough fabric in order to make your sleeve very full so guys after attaching my sleeve to the dress i've shaped my dress as you can see this is what it looks like after shaping so guys for the total neck i'm going to be attaching my total neck to it so what i'll do is open up the zip allowance area so after opening up that area i'm going to be checking what i have all around using my tape so you just Place the tape and check what you have all around. So I'll go ahead now to check. So guys, um, check what I have all around. Then I'll use it to cut out my band for the neckline. So I've attached the neckline. I'm sorry guys, I forgot to film the process of cutting out the turtle neck. So I'll drop a tutorial on that very soon. So I've attached my zip and this is the front. I'll go ahead now to give it a good press and show you guys the end result. So guys, this is the final result as you can see. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, drop a comment and I'll see you guys in my next class for now. Bye.